2009 Toyota Corolla. We got a no start because of a bad fuel pump. Before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm the type of guy that likes to get straight to the point. So that's enough about me. Let's get straight to the point. This is where the fuel pump is located. Right up under there. The back seat, what you do, you grab it right here under the front. You give it a good yank, pop it loose. You go on the other side, same thing. Get your hand up under there, give it a good yank. Ah, that side was a little stronger. Pop it through. Take the seat. Get it put up out your way some kind of way. Come on. It should be good. Okay? That's what we're looking like. This particular, ve particular vehicle here don't have any bolts on it. You just got to get up under there and pry it up. So what I use is a handy dandy Oh, there we go. Good old knife. Utility knife, hose knife, whatever you want to call it. So you just get it up under the edge and twist it. It's going to be a little tough, but it's going to come. That's it. Get it broke free. Now you can grab it, fold it back. Look at that. Now you disconnect this here. Electrical connection. It's hard to pop up. Let's see. <clears throat> she don't want to come out. There we go. Get that like so. Fold this back out the way. Uh, guess I'm going to have to go get the vacuum cleaner to vacuum some of this out. But first what I want to do is make sure it ain't got no fuel pressure on it. Because I banged on it earlier to get it started. I banged on the bottom of the tank. Start it up until it shuts off. Perfect. Let me pause this while I go get a vacuum cleaner. Okay, here we go. Try to get some of this vacuumed up. I know it's kind of loud. Let's see what we have here. Oh. Go get a toothbrush. Should have a toothbrush up in here for these type of situations. So junky. Here we go. Found my toothbrush. I can hang this phone up there. Let's see right here. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let me scrub it first.
getting kind of hot in there. Let me open up the rest of these doors. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of hot. Then I need to figure out a way to set this phone up in there so I can use two hands. So let me bring y'all back. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, got y'all set up so I can use two hands. Let's see what we're gonna do here. We're gonna get this on here disconnected first. And pop that up. And you can pry that back. You can usually just sit up like that. And then we gotta get this. This is the fuel feed line, the pressure line. We gotta get this out so we can get the assembly out. So we're just gonna pop this back and oh get that flower. Okay, I see it, I'll get it out. And now we're gonna pry it up like that. Ain't no fuel running out of it. Good. I'll bring you guys back. Okay, I got it. I had to go into the car. So now once we got these disconnected, this right here is a ring. It turns righty tighty lefty loosey. We want to go this way. So I just use a dull chisel. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to get a hammer and I'm just going to tap it and make it turn like so. bit right there it's not moving yet uh, let's see this in my way let me get it out okay now we can hit that side we come this side Joker just don't want to move. Let me stay at it though. It's gonna break free eventually. There we go. It's moving now. Can you see that? So there's a little tab right here that these things, it catches on, it stops it from turning. So sometimes when, you, when you're turning it, it'll stop. All you have to do is just push down or pry the tab back and go. See, it just stopped right there. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See right there? It catches on it right there. So you can pry it back like this. And then turn some more. Sometimes it misses it. Sometimes it catches it. And now we up. Put the camera back up. Put the phone, I should say. We need to get this out the way. This is going to be a sit like that. As we load it up. Now we got to be careful about these gases in it. Don't want to waste any gas inside the car. They'll be complaining about that. To get this smell out, yes, they will complain. Uh, 
when you're coming out, there's a float in there for the fuel level. And be careful not to break that. Come straight up. Bring it out. There we go. We're gonna put it down in here. Let me see if I can find another way to get this camera set up on the stand while I do this next part. Because what we're changing is just the fuel pump itself, not the whole assembly. I'll be back. Okay, bring you guys back. Like I said, we're changing this. That's the pump. That's what they gave me. This is what they want to put in. I don't know where the box at. Might be used, but I guess it works. So, I'm gonna set that to the side. We're gonna break on this. We gotta get this torn apart. Get the gas out of it. Let's get these connectors disconnected. All right, All right here, we have a C-clip, we need to get taken off, if you know how to take C-clips off, then you know what I'm doing, get that taken out, I'm just going to sit it right down inside there so I don't lose it, alright, easy, right? Now we can start separating this. In order to do that, we're going to pop these open here. Like so. Ah. And we can pull up on here, get them taken out. They didn't give me a strainer, I asked them about it. They don't care about the strainer. At least the fuel over here. All right? Leave that spring there. Actually, we don't have to. You know where it goes. So now we want to get this bottom section disconnected. We just go around. Each piece is kind of hard to get to these ones, but try your best not to break them. Got one there too. Got one here. first I'm going to pull the pump up disconnect it set it down grab the other one it's only going to go in one way so you can't screw it up I should say. We'll pop that joker in. Sitting good and pretty. Come back here. Looking not good. Make sure we got the same. Looks the same. Oh, I see what the problem is. The O-ring stuck in here. From the old one. Okay. 
Hell yeah. Now let's wrap this baby up. Make sure we line it up good with the fuel pump. Gotta get these holes lined up. Right there. There we go. Everything locked in. Bam. That old o ring got. Got that baby back in here. Get it locked into place like so. Let's get this line back up. Which way did this go? Have to go like that. All right. Now I can't pick up the Dura C-clip. Finger's too slippery. There we go. Get the C-clip locked back on. Like that. Bam. Get these babies plugged back up. This one went on the inside. Moving on the outside. We're gonna drop it back in the car. Let me go and um get you guys set back up in the car right quick. And pause it. Okay. Okay, now we back filming. We all set up. Let me go get the fuel pump assembly. Let's see, I'm going to get that baby tucked in there first. I'm going to have to do the gangster lane with it, like so. Get that joker tucked in there, now we can come down with it. And remember the orientation we was in. Just like that. Get this up top here. Got some little slot, a little slot right here that the tap falls in place. All right, we got to get this baby here, so we can tighten it down. I like to spin it backwards until it falls in place. Ain't feel it yet. There we go. Now. Tighten it up. Let me take the hammer, the chisel, give it some wax. Try not to drop this joker. I'm gonna push this in. Take this here. That way. Come on, baby. Yeah, 
just gonna fight me. There we go. Hey, I got that lock there. This joker here. It's just a push lock. locked in place now we have this joker here let's cycle the key I don't know if it's quiet fuel pump if we'll be able to hear it or not but let's cycle the key and listen listen for some noise from the fuel pump Not one of those points that primes up when you turn the key on. See if we can start it up. Nope. She runs. Let's get this joker folded back over. Down in place. Get these excess tools out of here. Get the seat put back in place. Let me see when you when you putting these seats back in. Let me see if we can get both of those in the picture. Out. Out. There we go. You want these? Don't leave your seat belts under there. You leave them under there, they're going to be complaining. You're going to have to go back in it. Whatever change you see, I'll just leave it. I ain't here to clean up. So, get this here tucked in. Make sure you grab your seat belts. And make sure they're in the slots. Get on your seat, push it back in. Uh, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Let's see. You got all this thing swiveling like that. Upside down. I don't know what kind of view that was for you guys. It usually won't take me that long, but I was trying to show you guys how to do it. Let's get this baby started up. Fire it right up. Got a flashing tire pressure light, but I take it that's because it's probably lost communications with the sensors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that bell if you want some notifications for more videos. Meanwhile, let me call these people so they can get gone. <laughs>